hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another segment called don't be telling my business why are you telling my business because i can can because i can can because i can and it's scandalous okay it's a scandalous situation over here with Portia Williams, of course. Y'all see what we got going on. All this hard work she did. Trying to open up her legs and spread them as wide as she can. For Dennis to enter. Because he had the right pocket. He had deep pockets for her. Okay. And the family loved him and all like that. And that's something. And someone she should have been talking to about opening up a restaurant. And how things are faring. Or she could have talked to other business people out there she could have got some advice from nene because from what i'm hearing her little lounge with the little serving of the appetizers and things of that nature she hadn't gotten any failed health inspections so she could have been somebody she could have talked to or she could have not gone talk to dennis mckinley okay but i said that to say this child this child don't quit all her jobs she quit this nation she quit the housewives of atlanta who brought her a platform to stand on and to achieve great things with it if she applied herself and did the right things but this child called herself meeting a billionaire um allegedly and she just quit all her jobs that were making her money some of her people's around her crew or her crew to hang around her her enablers they were like, let that man take care of you. And I'm sure the enablers was her mama, her aunt, on her daddy's side, and the grandmama. Okay? Because she sat there and told the whole world at the People's Choice Awards that they set a date. They set a date to get married because her mama and her grandmama and her aunt told her it was time to marry this man right here. Okay? I'm like, didn't they say the same thing about Dennis? And probably said the same thing about Cordell. I'm like, girl. And then they got you wanting to sell your Duluth home. Out there where you've been for quite some time. I want to say maybe seven, eight years maybe. And you've been happy there. Because you sure didn't want to live downtown or near the downtown uh, nighttime scenery. Where Dennis was happy about. You were like, uh-uh. You can't have, we can't have nothing down in Atlanta. You can't raise no children out there. No, you got to come to the suburbs. And she made Dennis feel kind of bad. And she uh, made him, but well, he didn't, he was small. He didn't give up his law. He just took some things from his law and shacked up with her at her home in Duluth. Okay, to make her feel somewhat better. But he didn't get rid of anything. But as quiet as it kept and as loud as I'm going to speak it out. I didn't know this, but I was over, you know, minding my own business, going to look at some YouTubers that I find, you know, comforting and that I can listen to their material and I can find some logic and some reasoning. Well, I was over that um, vitamin, a uh, vitamin, V I N A T A I N M E N T, instead of entertainment, is Venomint, Venotainment News. So go check her out great um youtube forum over there where she talks a lot about celebrity news gossip and all that kind of stuff okay and of course you know my girl sunday Autumn, and uh, she does a great job talking about portia and the comings and goings as well okay so they were definitely my two people that i wanted to do this video on and they gave me a lot of great advice but again um her name is sunday uh, omni o-m-o-n-y and just like saturday sunday sunday so sunday Autumn. okay go check her out go check her channel out as well as that new person i just told you about vitamin of vitamin Venomint, V-I-N-A-T-A-I-N-M-E-N-T, news, okay? Vitamin, vitamin news, all right? But they touched on something real interesting. And they're actually showing it in Portia's Family Values, or Portia Family Matters, uh, 
little show she got going on. I think it was the third, wherever they met uh, Dennis at, meaning her cousin and Lauren, to try to give him back or entice him to go on this Mexico trip. Um, they were trying to give him back his robe and some furs he had left over uh, Porsche house because he couldn't get the Versace robe until he came to actual Mexico. But they gave him the bill as a peace offering. But child, I know that lounge said crew lounge. But I was, nah, it just showed up. You know, I wasn't expecting it, but I was putting two and two together. I know I saw that name before. And they met uh, Dennis at some uh, lounge called Crew Lounge. Did not know it was his. They didn't specify it during that scene either. And I noticed a familiar face. That's uh, smoking, not smoking, storming. That's supposed to be um, Pusha Williams's. Uh, cousin, child, she was in the photo. So I'm thinking, cause I know he said that in one of his confessionals that her cousin, meaning Portia Williams' cousin, Stormy, had worked uh, at one of his establishments. And of course, how she act on this show, Portia Williams' family matters, she looked like she ain't working at no hot dog uh, factory. Uh, over there in that franchise. So he had her working at the crew lounge. But this crew lounge guys. Was supposed to have been like a breakfast nook. Or a restaurant for Portia Williams. Okay. That was a, 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 a good fun fact to find out. If you put your pieces together. But if you go to that Venertainment News. Um, look for her video that says Dennis McKinley buys fiance Portia Williams a restaurant and confirms um, and confirms it uh, and this was around July of 2019 like I said go over to her channel search for that particular video and then you'll see what I'm saying and she actually had a picture of Portia Williams um, cousin and they were and two other young girls and they were outside of this restaurant called crew lounge but i at, at i think at the beginning of it when he was just looking at the space it was i don't know what it was called before because she said she lost the footage or dennis quickly took it down off of social media because of possibly portia saying you know we can make this a storyline we can do this you know whatever you know but he brought it into fruition and he called it the crew lounge. But see, brother be low key. He be sitting up there making business moves. And then he had, then she had a successful run at having a baby by this man. And she still couldn't make it work. You know, I, I'm not understanding because the man that she called herself want to be with the right there. He has confessed to being uh, a cheater. And, you know, he said he didn't cheat with his relationship with his previous wife recently divorced wife but yeah he did because he did with you Portia do you do you understand that dynamics how you came to be because evidently you knew Simon prior to this young lady getting on the show Miss Fallon and you were trying to play a hush hush this that and third and all of it allegedly I'm just trying to put pieces together as they're presented to me but it seemed like some of that milk ain't clean it's more like buttermilk you know how to have that sour taste that's what you're giving us Portia at least that's what it seems like you're trying to throw down my throat and I ain't taking it I'm just throwing it back up at you just throwing it back up hell I ain't even drinking I'm smelling it like throwing it tossing it off the side of the window okay <laughs> because you got me smoking out the window, girl. You got me smoking out the window. I'm sitting up here trying to understand these different storylines. You're trying to buy puffing on my cigarette, even though I don't smoke. But in my mind, I'm smoking on a cigarette, girl. Trying to figure out how much bullshit you're going to tell me. And how much I'm going to keep taking it in. You know what I'm saying? Before I blow up on your behind. Okay, I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to toe the line. I'm trying to drop dreams on you. But it's just like, ugh, it's like I'm talking to a brick wall that I can't even try to penetrate with wisdom, with nuggets, with rational thinking here. Because I don't give up on your family. Your mama don't give a shit. Your aunt don't give a shit. And your grandmama sure don't give a shit. Shitsville is your whole family pretty much because they want you to marry in a rich African uh, a Liberian type of not little bit well, he's Nigerian uh, or Ghana I, I'm, I'm confused you know all of us running together but 
you trying to marry into something you feel that is wealth instead of you making your own wealth doing what you need to do because you already have done it you've been a part of the ratchet tv program real housewives of atlanta for x amount of years nine ten years i guess so you have money you know how to invest because you just said when you were 24 years old you had your own daycare business you had rented um or bought properties and stuff so why would you need to be having simon do all these things for you or convince you to do all these things for the betterment of you all's relationship but point taken you're not even freaking married you're going around here buying houses or buying a house with this man and you're not married now i hear you trying to buy property or you don't buy yourself a restaurant with him as a co-signer or are you the sole locks barrel of everything and uh he's just you know gonna say it's his or it's gonna be y'all's but he ain't putting in financially in on this venture of owning a restaurant i'm like you don't know two shits out of a sheep's tail okay about running a restaurant you barely got your what you call a foot line together with fab.com and I guess that was just a seasonal advertisement promotional deal. Because I don't hear you saying nothing else about it. You got your sheets and you got your go naked hair. And hopefully that's making a pretty penny for you. But what else do you got going on, Portia? All this nest egg that you don't save seems like it's just falling out the window as we're rolling down the highway. you just throwing it out for the masses to get a hold of and go live their best life. Because you certainly are not putting it towards good use. All this money you have allowed yourself to um, capitalize on. You sitting up there listening to your grandmama talking about she tired. Did she set a date for you and Dennis? Because then the father said, hell no, I ain't let nobody set no date for me. Not even my own mama. I kind of like the bachelor life. Even though Lucy good, you seem to be a good woman. But, I, you know, mm, let's just let, sign that prenup and maybe I feel a little bit more better that my pockets are a little bit more secure. Without that prenup, now nah, I'm just throwing caution to the wind and I know how you is. Because you don't be messing with no bro eagles. You don't do that. So, I, I'm going to say wake up one day because I don't offend at you again. And you're going to like, I'm taking half. I'm leaving. No, ma'am, you're not. <laughs> no, ma'am, you're not. All right. <sighs> but anyway. That's what the streets are talking about now. That Portia don't call herself buying a restaurant. And she's co-owner. Meaning Simon supposed to have the other side. And I got YouTube. <sighs> alleged, allegedly adding on. I ain't going to say the blogger's name. Because I think it was allegedly they were saying too. You sitting up there going around here letting this man talk bad about dennis and he ain't no better than dennis he's a cheater dennis was a cheater or still is a cheater i don't know because don't make too much hell of a a, a, a a real big big deal of the situation because you're not married to him anymore you're not a fiance you're not a girlfriend so it really don't make a hell of a beans to whether he is cheating still or not you know what i'm saying he ain't infringing on your happiness or your business, but it seems like you still have a fascination of being connected to this man. About, well, I'm going to always be connected because that's my baby. No, 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 no. That type of connection should be dead and gone. Only thing you need to be talking to Dennis about is birthdays, graduations, uh, pivotal moments in her life. That needs to be shared with family. Okay. that That's pretty much it. You don't need to know who he date and how he date. If you want to bring something to a, a party that you're giving. And you're inviting him and, and Mama Jean and all like that. If he want to bring his new girl in his life. He should be able to. Because it should be nothing. You know. Between y'all emotionally anymore. You see what I'm saying? It should not be anything that makes you feel some kind of way like your feelings hurt because you got Simon you got or is he just a storyline you really want to tell us the truth because I tell you when 
we were looking at uh your uh, episode three of season one last uh, Sunday. You had like you were just too fit to be tired. Like you really wanted to tear into Dennis about how he was acting. And I'm like, because he got his role back by what any means necessary. And your half sister and your cousin were the catalyst of getting that back to him. It was his. Everybody at the table was saying, baby, it's his. How can you keep something away from him that's his, that he legally bought with his own money? I don't understand. He ain't trying to keep your paraphernalia. Or any, I don't guess he is. I don't know if you have a wardrobe over at his loft or not. But he need to get that back if that's the, the uh, real tea. Okay, y'all can't keep, ha- you know, having clothes at each other's houses and then say y'all both seeing each other, uh, seeing other people that y'all are not interested romantically in each other's lives anymore. It's just a hot mess. But that that nut over there is making you spend all of your hard-earned money that should be put back for your retirement as well as PJ's well-being. Okay, until she can get out here, get educated, uh, get get something under her belt so she can become an entrepreneur or work for somebody in some capacity and make good money, good living. I mean, what's going on? She need that step up with some uh, financial burdens taken off of her. She needs to be able to go and express herself, uh, put herself in a career of her choice, and you're supposed to help her out with it, Portia. And then once that deed is done, then you kind of can wash your hands off her and let her fly and, and see how far she can go. Knowing that you're going to be that net that catches her if she falls. And of course, her dad will be there too. But how you dropping money, you know, letting it blow out the window as we riding down the highway, girl. That's senseless. That's stupid. Okay? That's crazy. And if ain't nobody in your family going to tell you, hopefully you'll come across my video. Well, you can see, I have your best interest, but sometimes you have to have tough love. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. Sunday, Omni is doing. Kim Pye is doing. Everybody wants to win. And definitely, um, um, oh boy, House of Aaron, he know he walk for you. But when your stupidity just can't be explained away anymore, everybody has to shut up. <laughs> and then I just say... Okay, now you know this was wrong. This was dead wrong. And then they had to go on and get in your ass. They didn't want to. Not just because. Just to make a a video. Get a few clicks. Get giggles here and there. We all out here worried about you. Because this is not something that we've seen you do. We see you have to play parts. Or maybe you like that in real life. You know, when you were on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But you really wasn't taking shit from me in. You know what I'm saying? All the men you were going through on the show, you really wasn't giving them no time. You know, they either going to do what you wanted them to do or you had to move on. Then you got your hands locked up in Dennis and all that he wanted you to do was sign a prenup. But you couldn't do that. Now you out of here buying cars. Oh, uh, well, I don't know if they say you're trying to buy him a car. Now, he's supposed to have had cars of his own, a collection of cars. But what I'm hearing on the streets, those are like rented cars or lease cars just for the show and then they're gonna be taken back but i'm sure he's paying something to just have them housed there you know for the taping of your show and the 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 mansion he's supposed to be in he's selling that don't know if that was rented okay but y'all was supposed to been buying another house because you didn't want to stay in the house because fella had um resided there and um, Simon don't want to go over there to your house or your mama over there all the time too and he don't want to dwell where Dennis had dwelled at either so the option was y'all to buy a house but what happened to the options of the three weddings or wedding taking place before all of this buying buying of new houses buying of a restaurant which I'm sure you should have talked to Candy to see how she's faring or your buddy Dennis, he could tell you the ups and downs, the comings and goings, the pros and cons of owning a restaurant and being a restaurant door. Okay, and definitely hiring the right people. And I don't think you're cut out for that type of business, Porsche. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Okay, but I'm only going by the rationalization of what you've given me 
over these 10 years to look at. And then this man that you called your fiance, Simon, tell me he want to put a bun in the oven. He want to impregnate you. Why? He got five kids. You got one. Y'all don't need no more. Because Quadras has kept his ex-wives are saying he ain't no good. He ain't taking care of them and he ain't barely taking care of them children. Okay. I'm just saying. It don't look good. And for you to go out here and waste all your savings. That's just piss poor of a bad way of uh, distributing your money out there. Yeah, I know for a fact you sit up there and bought those uh, five suits for him to wear to what office? Because we ain't seen him go into no office. We ain't seen him talk to his secretary. We ain't seen him go into anything that shows he's having a business somewhere. You know, like a computer, a desk, wall art, fax machine, com- computer he's working on. Where is it? We haven't seen it. Boardroom. Okay. So we can see that's all was a stage scene where he tried to show us. And the comments are going on how you try to present him. But you're going to buy him from Nemus Marcus five suits. And he said on my, this is how my baby keep me. This is what she bought me. And all thing we can see his behind is smoking a cigar and, and some uh, walking shorts. A uh, uh, summer uh, beach shorts with you know, a polo shirt on and flip flops. I, I don't understand it. Make it make sense, Portia. Make it make sense. But I ain't trying to be all in your business. I ain't trying to be all in your pockets. I'm just trying to say it ain't looking good. The optics is not looking good. The man is supposed to spend on you. He's supposed to be the protector, the provider. But you giving all the milk out for free. He don't have to wife you because he already have a good life with you. You were buying a house with him 50-50. God knows you, it, uh, you might buy something else such as an expensive car with him. You might end up buying him a car, lock, stock, and barrel. Okay. Then you got him buying a restaurant and you know nothing about the business. Only thing you know is going there partaking and eating and, 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 and uh, having a good time in the atmosphere. That's all you know. child the enablers are really deep around you and i am sh- i'm just ashamed that you were brought up with a mama with a grandmother and with an aunt that cannot make it make sense cannot get a hold of you and say girl no we're not going on no show no we're not finna make a, a fool out of ourselves at your expense no we're not finna co-sign that you should be marrying this uh nigerian man that you barely knew you say in two three months what about two or three years okay to watch the ups and downs the comments and going to see how he truly get down i mean yes life is not promised to you but at least we know you're not rushing in, into anything okay don't you remember cordell don't you just remember dennis and now you want to flaunt this man who they say in social media he's still married that means he can't marry you until he divorces his wife that he's legally separated from a divorce is imminent he has to do these things oops my bad Fallon did get rid of him. You know who I'm thinking about, y'all. <laughs> I'm thinking about Nene and her Liberian man. Child, make it make sense. I'm mixing two storylines up that you know I need to go to bed, okay? But I definitely been taping a lot this weekend, so. But I'm just, oh, uh, it's, 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 you see where I'm going? It's just running together where we still have a, a, a common denominator. We have these African men coming over here. You know, flaunting their so-called wealth and their notoriety and just being an exotic type man and good looking. I ain't going to say Simon is one I'm talking about because I'm really not talking about him. I'm talking about uh, Naomi or something like that. The one that Nini's messing with. But when Simon is made up in some of his pictures, especially that one that they went to with that socialite gala ball at swan lake house or whatever he did look pretty good he did look presentable makeup and and good uh clothing 
can make an ugly person look good. And yes, it can. Because you know some people just ain't, ain't easy on the eyes. But once some money get involved and some good people come in and know what they're doing, child, please, they can make an ordinary person look good. And they did wonders with that man. Okay? They did wonders with him. All right? He just seemed like a, a, a big old kid or something, you know? Yeah, he looked it okay in the red shirt. He looked it okay. But I'm like, are you a scammer, Sam, Simon? Do you have a spell on uh, Miss Portia? Because that's what the street's saying. Got some some uh, some spells going on around him. That it's a love spell that you got Portia under. Because Portia will be doing any of this stuff. You might got the family, too, under that spell. Mama, uh, not Mama Joyce. Uh, Mama Diane. Uh, grandmama. I've got a grandmama name. And the aunt, Darlene. Oh, I think I named Darlene. But anyway, seem like you got them all on the spell. They seem like they want to do your every bidding that you want them to do. They're going to do it. And that's crazy. That's crazy right there. I'm like, where are the men? Where are the men in the on both sides of the family? On William's side of the family as well as um, Diane's side of the family. Where, where, where are the men at? I don't understand. It's, but what, Portia, where's your brother at? Where is your brother? Okay, he should be knocking some sense in your head as well. Just don't seem like nobody care. Everybody's just out for the dollar. And they're going to use you, Portia, to get to that main dollar. So all of them can look good. And you can probably get them an African man as well. So they can be set. I'm like, ooh, child. Y'all don't want them African women coming out for y'all. Y'all just don't want that smoke or that heat. Okay. Because if y'all can come out, you and Nene can proclaim that it's okay to date a married man. It's okay to date a, a, a separated married man. Just, you know, follow their lead and you just go on out there. You ain't got to be hidden no more. Like they waving a flag for everybody who want to participate in messing with married men. You know, whether they separated legally or they just separated, don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing in the court system. Like, come on out. We we, we send this new tone. We send this new wave of messing with married men. And we don't care about their wives. Girl, when them wives start clapping back. And they start getting a little uh, ideal of their own. Child. I don't think I'll say, whoo I'll be sitting back there looking, looking, and I wouldn't be able to help nobody come like, oh, you don't made that bed, you might well lay, lay in it, and if ain't nothing but a couple of ass whoopings you got to take from the wife of that man you fooling around with, then though, so, so let it have, so let it be, so let it be, okay? But that's all I got in this video, guys. I hope y'all like it, love it, and y'all want more. To do that is to let me know in those comments how you felt about the presentation of what I talked about. Weigh in. You know, your opinion matters as well. That's why I have the channel. Okay, it ain't all about me expressing my opinions on stuff. Because you might agree, you might disagree, or you might be somewhat indifferent. However, you're putting, you weighing in on the subject matter at hand, okay? And most of my stories are scandalous. And I know that's why y'all like them, okay? Because I don't want no boring uh, story for me to look at from beginning to end, you know? saying give me something to, to munch on but i was like when i saw crew lounge crew lounge was being presented in portia's family matters on that third episode and i saw uh i don't know why i want to call this girl smoking but stormy which is cousin of uh, uh portia was in that same um picture they were showing and then with the thought of him wanting to buy that for Porsche, because she always wanted a little, you know, eatery joint outside of his hot dog factory thing. She wanted something, you know, kind of like Nene Lounge or whatnot. And he like he had the money. He thought the idea was good. It was lucrative. He could make money off this idea. And I think they were going to call it something to Porsche's name or it's going to be Porsche's whatever. But all they got 86 idea when I don't know he cheated or what was going on but they got stripped out but he still kept you know him uh the crew lounge he, he made it into his own and it's thriving i'm sure and now she wants to now this was a present that he was giving portia and see this is why it's supposed to handle itself man buys gifts lucrative gifts like that so y'all can definitely stay in wealth okay but you going at him buying a restaurant for your fiance or buying into a restaurant with him when you don't need it. What you need? What do you need a restaurant for? You don't know nothing about that. All that you know about is eating. That's it. And drinking wine and partying. 
you don't know nothing about the ins and outs, the comings and goings about having a restaurant and operating it. Girl, that's a lot. You're going to be working over there trying to handle things. You're going to hire the right people. You're going to try to keep your inspections up to an A1 par standard. I think not. You're not going to be that portion. You're still trying to be that jet setter. That person that just called party, party, party. When you should have thought about that before you even had kids. Or even thought about getting married. Okay? You ain't Paris Hilton running around here. And then she had to settle down sometime. Just got married, I heard. But anyway, that's all I got for this video. Girl, sign that prenup, go on with Dennis. Or better yet, just find yourself. Find yourself before you can give yourself to somebody else. Get yourself in order. Get your house on. Get your own house in order, Portia. Even if you have to cut off some family members. Because it don't seem like your mama, your grandma, or your aunt are doing you no favors right here. I'm just saying. And if they keeping your their mouth closed because they want you to have the, a successful show, then they need to be opening up their mouths because this crashed and burned. It's, but girl, the altitude that you were flying on before we got a chance to see your first episode. Girl, you don't crash into the mountain, the ground, the desert. It ain't looking good. And the ratings are not showing good in your favor as well. So try to see if you can get back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. A better thought. Go look for a real job, okay? A good, morally tight-based job. Try to produce something if you want to stay in the entertainment field. Hell, be a, 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 a what do you call that, a, a person, be a manager of some, some person that's coming up in the music industry or something. You have a lot of contacts in the industry, I guess, all right? You're a per radio personality person. You should know some people. But that's all I had, guys. That's all I had. We got to pray for Portia. We really do. Because she don't, woof, she don't jump off. She probably in the Bermuda Triangle swimming around right now. That's where her mind is. In the Bermuda Triangle. And we need to try to get her out. Okay? And all that we can do that is just pray for her. Because she's a child. She's just lost. Just lost. And if she's just lost, I can't imagine what PJ going to be like. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.